Hey guys, welcome back. I am Stu, and this is Okinawa Coast for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic Wacky Worlds Expansion. An existing park has run out of space. Your only option is to build out into the sea, and so you have taken out a loan. Height restrictions on your building are enforced due to foundations and earthquake risk. Your objective is to have at least 2,500 guests in your park at the end of October, year five, with a park rating of at least 600. So, yet another five year scenario then um it wants two and a half thousand guests we've already got half of that so we only really need another 1250 guests um so we've got quite a few rides already built then so this is the sea that it says that we can build on but there is a height restriction on there as well so let's we're charging for admission so let's put that up i usually like to have it at 40 and by the looks of it there's more than enough rides to justify that um let's talk what rides we have got transport rides some gentle rides um only the one coaster um okay a couple of uh, thrill rides some water rides and loads of shops so i think what i'll do then i'll put my research into roller coasters um so let's have a look then let's turn the scenery off it might be make it easier and you go fairly complicated pardoning by the looks of it oh hang on especially this bit up here um so by the looks of it then okay that's just this path here then is just eye candy because there's no way of the guests getting to it um now these little square paths, what I've noticed before is that guests like to walk straight on when they come to a junction. So what will probably happen is the guests will end up going around in a circle. So let's let's click let's click a couple of them and just let's just see what happens when whoop, hang on. Let's just pick some at random and let's just press play, see what happens. Yeah, there you go. Or oh, one of them's walked out. Two of them have walked out. But two of them are just going round in a circle. So I think what I'll do, and if they're up there, they're not buying from shops or, or anything else. So what I'll do is I'll just put a no entry sign down there to stop them going up there. Um, let's have a look. Oh, there you go. Same again for the kiosk. I'll probably move the kiosk over to the start. Put the umbrellas up to £20 that sort of thing you know try and get as much money out of these guests as possible now the amount of rides that we have got in the park it does if the amount of guests that we've got doesn't feel quite right compared to the rides that we've got um so that could be an issue it might mean that we have to build I know we've got the green arrow at the moment, but uh, we'll have to see how that plans out because it could be that um, it'll plateau at some point and, and it'll only go up again when we've put down a ton more rides. But um, yeah, I think um, we'll research coasters. I've go already got the the corkscrew coaster. That's what this that's what this is here. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just start building some cheap and cheerful ones down here, build them along and um and just see what happens end of year one i've switched research off for the moment we've researched all the roller coasters so i've switched it off just to save a bit of money because money is fairly tight um i have borrowed a little bit to pay for some of the coasters that we're building um and as you can see every month we're only making about two thousand until september when it shot up i say shot up it's still Five is still quite low but um, compared to what we have been making so I think the the number of guests coming in was fairly slow to increase and it's only really the last month or so when I've built the extra few coasters that the the, the amount of guests coming in has gone up significantly so what I've done then all these to a fashion of that are on the tutorial section the the cutback that one is um this is the same the cutback but in a limb coaster 
and the junior coaster is just a slight modification because i couldn't go so high on the chain lift so it's just dropped it back down and then back up um the only real interesting one is this one here it's a flawless coaster this actually works as a shuttle so watch it now comes down into the cut back but it hasn't got enough speed to go through so it just goes back up to the station but you can't operate these in shuttle mode so you have to do a complete circuit now i think you'll be quite amazed by the excitement on this so let's have a look 7.15 it's incredible um so i wasn't able to go any higher with the station well i was but um it wouldn't let me put the entrance and exit down so obviously i couldn't open it but um yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with the way with the excitement and that uh i was turned out the guests are, are loving it by all the crowds that we've got there so we've got eight coasters i've gone for the garish color schemes to maybe see if we can win some uh some awards what else what else have i done um so i fixed that path in just down there where the kiosk was um i put the no entry sign to stop them going up up on there stop them getting lost yes um not a bad effort i think for 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 the first year eight coasters considering we have struggled for money um i'm looking at this maze here and to be honest considering the space is taken up i could probably put down a load of really really small mazes um i think we've shown in the past that the actual hedges in the middle doesn't make a difference um so what I, I would normally do is try and make it as simple as possible but um yeah so 1700 guests we only need 800 we've got the green arrow so the guest number is going up we've got years left so i'm just going to crack on and and see what we can do in year two end of year two the money is rolling in has been all year so we've got research back on uh, I'm not researching anything in particular, just leaving it on, see what unlocks. So I got rid of the maze and I put down 10 small mazes. Let's have a look. Hide the scenery. That just gives you a little bit of a, a boost. It's just one tile. And then all the ent all the exits are connected at the back and a little balloon stall there as well that they all have to walk past. 1.71, the ones in the middle might be a bit more exciting. Yep two because they've got rides either side of them um i've been putting down loads of shops and things this year i've just been concentrating on flat rides and shops and things so loads of shops just down here balloons that sort of thing as well got a um what are these called these ufo things flying saucers uh got a couple of sim rides got some really small bumper boats so this whole thing then is a four by four so you've got the if you include the paths the entrance and exit and the actual station and track it's four by four it's not bad excitement the guests are loving it um so i've got six of those that means we qualify for the best water park with the best water rides award um it'll be random if we win it but at least we qualify for it so that might give us a bit of a boost we've already done the guest target so at the end of year two which is uh so i spent so much time spamming rides to begin with and now um we've we've passed it um so i'm i'm just wondering what i'm gonna do for the next three years um yeah so i don't know i've got space here for 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 something i try and do something interesting there um other than that i might just pop down a few more flat rides in some shops I can't see me doing anything major um because i don't want to get the park too full because then you're just increasing the the chances of guests complaining about overcrowding and that sort of thing so i'm just going to do some bits and bobs and um and see what happens end of year three haven't done much this year the main thing i've done is build this coaster here so it's a dueling mobius coaster flawless coaster 
good excitement stats on it. It comes out of the station down into these into these corkscrews. Now, in order to get the right speed, I had to put I had to add some chain lifts down just to give it an extra little boost. And then in order to test it, it might be all right with the guests on it when I was heavier, but just to get it uh, through testing. I just wanted to try something, just wanted to try something like this. You know, we did, I did one in the last, um, in the last video with a, uh, a corkscrew doing loads of different corkscrews and things like that. So I just wanted to try something similar with the, with the flawless um and i think i think it's worked out quite well i mean the excitement stats are good so i've named this one habu pit viper which is a snake on okinawa and then i've named the other coasters then or the other pairs after the um islands in the okinawa island group so we've got my my pronunciation may not be very good sissoko iejima Aguni and Kume. Of course, if I've messed up the pronunciation, feel free to correct me. Um, Okinawa, that's uh, that's a pretty easy one because um, the original Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi, was from Okinawa. So I should have got that one right. So we've got, what else have we got? I've put down some more some more shops and, and things like that just around just around the place um first aid center just up there because there was loads of people puking off the off the rotor drop it's only it's as small as it can go without taking the top off i could take the top off actually and instead of going up and dropping it would just spin on the floor but um i mean the nose is quite high really considering the ride that it is so we've got over 3,000 guests. I only need 2,500. As I said earlier, I am worried about overcrowding, things like that. So I think what I'll do now is I'll raise the price of the park up to um, let's have a look. I have been looking at some of the guests as they're coming in. Let's have a look. £40. Okay. So I was thinking of putting a number up to about 60 or 70. That way, people like like Bernard there, he only had forty pound. Uh, Lindsay, she only had thirty pound. Oh, she she did have seventy. She'd have been okay. She could have come in, but the others they'd have had to have gone home. So that'll just limit the amount of guests coming in. And if that doesn't work, I think what I'll do is I'll switch off all the ATMs because we've got loads of those around the park. If I switch them off that way, the guests that are in the park will eventually run out of money and they'll go home. Um, so I want to reduce the numbers down a little bit. I mean. I'm, the, the park rating that's fine um that's the wrong one apart from a little blip blip in july it's been on on maximum but um yeah you never can be too careful so i think i'll just raise the price maybe close the atms and then fast forward until the end of year five end of year five the objective wants two and a half thousand guests we've got just under two thousand eight hundred so we've got more than what we need we did have over three thousand guests but what i've done is i've raised i've raised the admission fee to 70 pound now a lot of the guests coming in got a lot of the guests spawning haven't got there you go he hasn't got enough ted you can go home that way it limits the amount of guests that can come in and i've also closed all the atms as well around the place so the easy way of doing that is going in and um and just close them in this menu here and um so that way the guests are in the park will run out of money and eventually they will go home it took a while it's uh it's only really been this year where the guest numbers have, have started to drop um so there you go park rating still on maximum it's guest numbers starting to fall um there was we did have the red arrow a couple of weeks back game time but um, it's gone now. That was the first time I've seen it. Even though the numbers have been steadily falling, steadily falling, it uh, it's only just shown up. So what did we do then? Most of these rides were already built when we came in. Most of the flat rides anyway, plus the monorails, etc. Um, so one thing I did was put research into roller coasters and then spammed 
eight coasters just down here so we've got a pair of corkscrews a pair of flawless coasters a pair of limb coasters and a pair of junior coasters before doing that i closed off this path here so i didn't want guests getting lost along there and i also um where the atm and the toilets are there was another loop going around there so guests will wander round and round and round in a circle um so it's just i didn't want them getting lost and then what did we do we built some shops some old ride stuff down here six very very small bumper boats just wanted to try that out um worked quite well actually um have we won any awards oh, there you go we've got best roller coasters best water rides award so that the water rides that's because i've got six water rides even though they're rubbish i've got six of them and they're water rides that means i qualify for it and it's just random then if we win it or not oh what's happened here with my no wrong one oh there you go it's gone out of sync so let's just untick synchronize send that on its way put it back on so this car will wait and then it'll go around so with this one then it's flawless coaster you can raise the station higher but then what i found is you couldn't place the exit and entrances so i just wanted to do something with the corkscrews and it works really well to be honest um it's quite slow so that doesn't um it's not very good for throughput so it probably wouldn't be very good in a park where guests pay per ride but um this one would though over here this one it just drops down it's basically a shuttle but you have to do a complete circuit and we've done it Stoo! there you go so it comes out into the corkscrew element it hasn't got enough speed so it goes back to the station where it gets caught and brought back look at the excitement on that it's crazy um we could even boost it by putting um some scenery or something next to it it's benefiting as well i've got the state the path going across the chain lift there so even though the train doesn't go over it it doesn't go on that part of the track it still acts as like a head chopper yeah so that was okinawa coast quite an easy scenario i think with this one the trick is to build some cheap and cheerful rides at the start um i did mention at the start that it felt like the amount of guests we had in the park was too high for the rides that we had um and to be honest that's how it felt for the first year for most of the first year until i'd finished building maybe the seventh and eighth roller coaster um because there is the amount of guests that the park sends in or spawns in is related to the amount of rides that you've got or the, the ride types that you've got um so it was very very sluggish the, the guests weren't coming in that quickly to begin with but then as soon as we put down the extra coasters they did start coming in the money started rolling in before that we were only earning about two thousand a month after that then five thousand six thousand a month um it's been quite low recently because i raised the price of the entrance fee and um because i didn't want that many guests coming in but now because the right the numbers have dropped down to 2700 we've got more guests spawning and more guests coming in so i don't know it's uh it is quite complex but um hopefully i tried to make some sort of sense out of it so this was okinawa coast i am still if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye